Hello, mabuhay, and welcome to our next podcast on General Chemistry 1, still on Module 1, and all about MELT number 4 to describe various simple separation techniques such as distillation, chromatography, and etc. Okay, so our objectives for this module is to number one, perform simple separation techniques in simple household experiments. Okay, and number two, to identify separation technique needed in specific substances guided by its properties. Okay, yung first objective natin which is specifically to perform since we are not in a laboratory so we will just cite some experiments okay that we can uh, relate or we can identify those simple separation techniques okay so there are so many separation techniques but we will only tackle uh, some of the basic ones okay so the first one is mechanical separation okay pag sinabi nating mechanical separation okay from the word mechanical okay so pag sinabi nga nating mechanical example mechanico okay pag sinabi nating mechanico hands on di ba gumagamit tayo ng mga tools ginagamit natin yung kamay natin para ma separate them mechanically or physically okay so meron tayong mga tools na ginagamit pwedeng yung ating kamay pwedeng pwedeng gumamit tayo ng tong uh, chani or pwedeng forceps Pieces, okay, okay. So, uh, literally, si separate talaga natin yung uh, mixture na or yung substance. Okay, pwede tayong gumamit ng sifter para may separate. Okay, so uh, more or less, hindi tayo dito gumagamit ng uh, chemicals para may separate or heat. Okay, but we can uh, separate substances by means of uh, hands-on separation or mechanical means. Okay? So, example, halimbawa, meron tayong gravel and then sand. Okay? Iba sa mga construction, uh, kapag gumagawa, ang pagtatrabaho ng mga construction workers, minsan gusto nila ay yung maliliit na, uh, specific na maliliit na type of sand na gagamitin sa pagsesemento. So, kukuha na sila ng uh, yung parang sc- yung screen na merong maliliit na butas and then, ilalagay nila yung deliver na uh, sand and then i- i- ilalagay ito doon sa ibabaw ng screen wire and then isi-shake okay? Parang isi-sift yung uh, yung sand para mahulog doon sa mga butas yung maliliit na sand so with that uh, technique you are mechanically uh, separating the uh, small sand to the big ones or kung meron ma- bang mga pebbles na nakasama okay another if you are baking okay kung meron kang flour okay kapag ilalagay mo siya doon sa mixture na gagamitin mo example cake or dough Okay, kukuha ka ng uh, salaan and then ilalagay mo sa ibabaw yung flour and then tataktakin mo para yung maliliit na flour ay uh, mas separate doon sa mga buo-buo. So that is also mechanical separation. This one is flotation. So isa naman siyang method kung saan yung solid, okay, yung solid, na nagsuspend sa isang mis- mixture ay inaalaw na magsettle doon sa mas less than sa less dense na material okay. and then uh, is separate natin siya okay from the word flotation or float aantayin natin mag-float yung less dense na material okay and then yung mas dense naman na material is obviously magsisink sa ilalim Next one is distillation, okay? Kaya nga tinawag ang water na iniinom sa mga tindahan ay distilled water kasi, okay, ginagamitin ito ng uh, technique na distillation. Okay, so we let water to evaporate and then we let it uh, condense, okay? Para ang matira lang doon sa mixture ay tubig. Halimbawa ako meron kang mga impurities, hindi po siya sasama sa water. 
So, ganito po ang process niya. Papakuluan yung tubig, okay? Kapag na-acquire niya na yung boiling point, mag evaporate na siya from liquid, magiging gas or steam. Okay? Kapag aakit yung steam, kasi mainit siya, tataas siya, okay, pupunta na siya dito sa tubo. Pagdating dito sa tubo, hindi na siya makaka-receive ng heat, so lalamig siya. So, yung gas or yung steam ay lalamig, magiging na siyang liquid, water. So, magkocondense naman siya. So, tinatawag naman natin condensation. So, the tendency since mas malamig na siya, mas mabigat na siya, pupunta na siya sa baba through gravity. So, ah, pupunta na dito siya sa baba. Okay? So, magkocondense na siya, magiging na siyang uh, distilled water. So, yung mga impurities ay hindi na po masasama dito sa condensed water. Okay? So, next one is chromatography. Okay, so, pag sinabi na natin uh, chrome, chroma, chrome, okay, so that is color, okay. So, katulad naman ito, meron naman tayong uh, different experiments that uh, uses chromatography, but basically, ito po yung uh, process kung saan tinitingnan natin kung ano ba yung mga substances na uh, present doon, uh, especially sa mga mixture ng ink, mga ganyan. Okay? Pwede natin malaman kung ano ba yung mga colors na ginamit para mabuo yung ink. Okay? Example, meron kang ay, meron kang marker. So, gusto mong malaman kung ano ba yung mga colors na ginamit doon sa marker. So, we will perform chromatography wherein you will uh, put uh, a paper and then na, nakasu na ginamitan ng ink and then ah uh, ididikit mo yung dulo ng papel doon sa liquid and then uh, through cap, uh, absorption ng water or capillary action tataas yung tubig and masasama po yung ink papunta sa taas okay yung ibang uh, uh, substance or ingredient ng ink ay mas tataas yung iba naman na kulay ay hindi masyadong aakyat because of their properties so makikita mo yung separation ng iba't ibang colors na ginamit doon para mabuo yung specific color na ink okay so next one is filtration o filter from the word filter o sige if you filter mo siya so uh, mostly sa uh, loob ng laboratory we use the filter paper Okay. So, halimbawa, meron kang mixture ng uh, muddy water, meron siyang mud, and then merong sand. Okay. So, medyo madumi yung tubig, gagamit ka ng filter paper, ibababaw mo siya doon sa uh, funnel, okay. and then ibubuhos mo doon, and then magpa-pass through lang yung water. Okay. And then yung mud and uh, soil and then pebbles and other aggregates ay may iwan doon sa funnel kasi nga yung filter paper, linil, ang pinapapas, ang kaya lang pumasok doon ay liquid. Okay? And tawag naman doon sa liquid na magpapas through doon sa filter paper ay tinatawag natin filtrate. And then yung uh, materials naman, solid particles, specifically na naiwan ay tinatawag naman natin residue. Okay? Pero itong filtration ay hindi po tayo makakasiguro na 100% clean water ang uh, mafi-filter natin. That is why most of the time after filtration, uh, ginagawa na po siya ng distillation afterwards to secure na clean nga yung water na uh, iino very clear na water ang magagawang uh, product. Okay? Next one is centrifugation. Okay? This one, uh, mas madalas nating makita sa mga sa medical fields, okay? Especially sa pagtitest ng dugo, okay? So, kukunan ka ng dugo, ilalagay siya sa test tube, papaki, papa, it, ikutin siya doon sa tinatawag nating centrifuge, okay? Sa sobrang bilis ng ikot noon, gagamitin niya yung centrifugal force para mag-separate yung different um, particles or uh, substances na nandoon sa dugo. Okay, specifically, you have your white, white blood cells, red blood cells, and then platelet. Halimbawa, magpapa-platelet count ka, 
So, kukuna ka ng dugo, ilalagay sa centrifuge, papaikutin, and then, uh, maghihiwa-hiwalay yung iyong red blood cells, white blood cells, and then platelets. And then, doon measure na nila kung gano'n ba kadami ang yung platelets, RBC or WBC. Okay? So, let us answer this uh, activity. Okay? So, we have here some experiments na uh, merong materials and then procedure and sasabihin natin kung ano bang klaseng separation techniques ang nararapat or uh, ginawa para sa experiment na ito. So, number one, ang procedure natin, mix each one cup of water with one tablespoon mud, sand, and soil in separate cups. Pour the mixture into the funnel with filter paper. Collect the filtered water in a cup and label the filtered mixture of mud, sand, and water with set A, set B, respectively. respectively. Okay, so ano kaya to? Meron siyang filter paper, funnel, small cups, okay? And then pinagalo-halong mud, sand, and soil. So that is filtration. So gumamit tayo ng filtered paper. Okay. Experiment 2. Okay. So, ano naman tong gigamitin natin? Place the gravel and sand mixture on top of the screen wire. Gently wiggle the screen wire until no particles fall down. Record your observation. So, ano naman siya? Gumamit tayo ng screen wire. Meron tayong grand and savel. And then, sa procedure, uh, winigal natin siya. So, that is mechanical separation. So, yung minansyon ko po kanina na sa mga construction sites na ginagawa ng mga construction workers. They mechanically separate uh, the mixture. Okay, next experiment 3. Mix 10, 10 tablespoon of water with 1 half teaspoon salt. Pour the mixture into the can. Place the bigger opening of the funnel on top of the rim of the can. Tip the funnel into the can to secure Insert 1 inch of the rubber tube in the smaller opening of the funnel. Tape the rubber tube on the, into the funnel to secure. Place the other end of the rubber tube to the cup. Lit the candle and use the tongue or a tripod. Place the can on top of the flame and wait until the water boils, evaporates, and transfers to the cup. Okay, so meron ditong pinakuluan. Tapos nag-travel yung water and then nag-transfer siya doon sa another cup. Okay, so that is distillation. Yung inexplain ko po sa inyong process of evaporating and then condensation para ma-separate yung water doon sa mga impurities na kasama niya. Okay? Experiment number four, we have measured the height of the cup you are using. Cut the paper into one inch thick and the length be the height of the cup. You must cut three papers. At the very end of the paper, opposite to the side where the stick is, draw a 1 inch long horizontal line using the black marker encompassing the edges of the paper. Roll very few parts of the paper at the middle of the stick so it can hang into the stick. Do this on all three papers and sticks. Place the stick on the rim of the cup and let the paper hang in the air inside the cup. Do this in all three papers and sticks. Table the cups ABC. Pour the liquids in the cup without disturbing the paper and the stick. The liquid must touch, just touch the very edge of the paper and must not submerge the black line into the liquid. For cup A, pour water. For cup B, pour vinegar. And for cup C, pour alcohol. Wait for the reaction to take place for about 12 hours. Record your observations. So, meron tayo itong papel. Okay? 1 inch thick na papel and then linagyan ng marker okay sinulat ng marker and then uh, pinatouch doon sa water vinegar and then alcohol and then hinayaan for 12 hours okay so and after that of course ang mangyayari ay tataas yung uh, pigment ng ink okay so pwede mo yung i-try yung experiment na yan okay so that is an example of crumb paper chromatography. Okay, so most of the time, itong chromatography ay meron pa siyang various applications which are for lab, uh, professional uh, science laboratories na siya. Pero for simple experiments, you can uh, do this at home. Okay, 
Experiment number five, we have pour one half cup of water into the cup, add one tablespoon of sugar and mix until dissolved, add another tea tablespoon of sugar and mix until dissolved, repeat the process until you finish all five tablespoons, tie a yarn in the middle of the stick, cut the yarn with the length proportional to the height of the cup you use, place the stick on top of the rim of the cup, submerge the yarn in the water sugar solution. Use the paper to cover the cup. Leave the set up for 24 hours. Okay? Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, so that is a simple experiment on what we call fractional crystallization. Okay? So, yan pong uh, fractional crystallization is only a simple experiment. Pero meron pa po siyang uh, more practical uses. Okay, that you can search or research on already. So, those are uh, some basic separation techniques. Okay? So, I hope that you have learned something. Okay, so that will be the end of our module 1. So, thank you very much for uh, watching our second podcast. I hope that you have learned something from me. And I will see you on my next podcast. Thank you.